Welcome back to the American Diabetes Association's 74th Scientific Sessions, the largest diabetes meeting in the world. I'm Rhonda Anderson with breaking news from the Moscone Center in San Francisco. We just heard about exciting long-term results from the Diabetes Prevention Program. This was a major clinical research study that years ago showed that lifestyle changes such as modest weight loss and increased physical activity or treatment with metformin could prevent or delay the onset of type 2 diabetes by 58 and 31 percent respectively in people who are high at risk for diabetes. The Diabetes Prevention Program's outcome study was conducted as an extension of the original study to determine the longer effects of the two interventions. Would the study participants continue to stave off diabetes and its complications? Here's an overview of the results. In terms of type 2 diabetes rates, after 15 years, participants in the study continued to have lower rates of type 2 diabetes than those given a placebo, 27% lower for those who made lifestyle changes and 17% for those who took metformin. In terms of cardiovascular disease, the people in the study were relatively young and healthy at the beginning. So even 15 years later, few had experienced any heart attacks or strokes. This means researchers couldn't really test the effects of interventions on cardiovascular disease. However, they did find that cardiovascular risk factors such as high blood pressure were improved by the lifestyle changes and somewhat less so by metformin. People with type 2 diabetes are at much higher risk for heart disease and stroke than those without diabetes. So improving or delaying the development of risk factors may be very beneficial. One area where researchers found little difference among the groups was for small vessel or microvascular complications such as eye, nerve, or kidney disease. However, participants who didn't develop diabetes had a 28% lower occurrence of the microvascular complications than those who did develop diabetes. So these findings show that intervening when someone has prediabetes is important for reducing early stage complications. Also interesting, this is the largest and longest study ever to examine the effects of metformin in people who have not been diagnosed with diabetes. Metformin is a very common oral medication for type 2 and it's also inexpensive. Over the 15 years of this research, metformin was, found, was shown to be extremely safe and well tolerated. It was also associated with a modest degree of long-term weight loss. Further study will help show whether the drug has beneficial effects on heart disease and cancer, which are both higher in people with type 2 diabetes. The Diabetes Prevention Program and this new outcome study give us an incredible wealth of information about how type 2 diabetes can be prevented or delayed, as well as how prediabetes progresses to diabetes. Researchers can now examine how developing diabetes at different periods of life may cause a disease to progress differently. For example, does diabetes behave differently if you develop it before the age of 50 compared to after the age of 60? Currently, an estimated 86 million Americans are at high risk for di developing di type 2 diabetes. So knowing which interventions have long-term success in preventing or delaying the disease and its complications is certainly key to stopping diabetes. To view this full press release online, visit the newsroom section of our website, diabetes.org. And for continued support, breaking news, and coverage from the 74th Scientific Sessions, visit diabetes.org slash breaking news. I'm Rhonda Anderson in San Francisco.